Hi, I'm Robert Gerritsen, and tonight I'm going to show you how to frag a mushroom coral. Now, some of the necessary equipment that you need to be able to perform a fragging, um, I would do this with any corals, just because you don't know if the coral's toxic, so treat it toxic. Um, some corals, like zoanthids, um, will give off a chemical when they're popped um, that could actually um, seriously hospitalize you or even um, cause death. So, um, necessary precaution uh, to add more corals to your tank. Some of that might be nitrile gloves, latex gloves. I prefer the powder free. They help. Safety glasses. You don't want anything splashing against you. Um, a good cutting surface. Um, as today we're going to be doing the mushroom corals. We want to make sure that they are um, of course, cut against a good surface. A nice sharp knife. Um, that could be either just a regular razor blade. I have um, an X-Acto knife here that I'm going to be using with the fresh blade. Um, of course, the coral. Um, a pair of pliers or bone cutters um, are good for you know removing it from the rock that you're going to be the coral that you're going to be cutting from. Uh, some type of substrate. Uh, mushrooms ha have like a protective slime over them and you can't glue them to the substrate. So you got to let them attach themselves to a substrate and then you can glue that um, rock substrate to your other live rock or wherever you want in your tank. Um, and then you can get a bowl and cut holes in it to stick in your tank for flow. Um, or here I have just a juicer strainer that I'm just going to stick in my tank, allow flow in there. I could put the substrate into here and then just stick the corals in there and they'll attach themselves uh, for afterwards. Alright, so to the fragging. So on here I've chosen a coral, um, just a little purple mushroom. In the center there you see the oral disc. That's what you're wanting to cut through. Um, as you can see this one, this guy's already uh, shrunk up after I removed him from the tank. Now, these mushroom corals can be out. They're pretty hardy. They can be out of your tank for about 5-10 minutes. So go ahead and take your time. Uh, if need be, you could just stick them back in the water, re-wet them. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start cutting. So, go ahead and start at the disc. If you're using one of uh, an exacto, and especially if it's already attached to the substrate, or it, uh, you can cut it away from the substrate. I'm not going to because I'm hoping to be able to keep some of the substrate. But just go from the center of your there, your coral, and just cut straight outwards, and then do it again through the oral disc and I should have two halves so I got two frags now of this mushroom coral I want to do it in quarters so I'm going to go across the oral disc again and now I have Two here. Go ahead and peel it off. So now I got two separate frags here. I'll go ahead and stick them in the water. And go back to my other one where I have the single f half here. And again, I'm going to cut straight across its oral disc and cut it into two sections as well. Looks like this guy is attached a little bit better. There we go. Now this is nice because the way it broke free from the rock earlier, it has allowed me, I don't have to attach these. 
you can go ahead and glue these straight into your tank if you want. Um, I'm going to keep them all together and allow them to heal. But as you can see, I have now four separate pieces of mushroom coral out of one original coral. And when he was fully inflated, that coral was about an inch and a half, inch, inch and a half wide, straight across diameter. So um, before long, I'll have four nice new mushrooms to put into my tank or trade for other coral. If you have any questions, you can um, message me on my Facebook page. You can find me at Robert's Aquarium page on Facebook, or you can message me here on YouTube. Thank you. Please subscribe to my channel and give me any feedback. Happy fragging.